Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So after installing the August 2024 Cumulative Patch Tuesday updates, as I posted yesterday, if you are dual booting Linux on Windows, many users are unable to boot into Linux with this error message. Now, as we can see, um, after posting yesterday, and by the way, that video will be linked down below in the end screen if you'd like more info. Microsoft now has officially confirmed this as a known issue over on their known issues health dashboard page. Now, Microsoft has this to say, and this is what caused the whole problem. They say that the August 2024 Windows security updates applied a secure boot advanced targeting SBAT setting to devices that run Windows to block old vulnerable boot managers. They carry on to say that this SBAT update will not be applied to devices where dual booting is detected. Now, here's where the problem arose. On some devices, they say the dual boot detection did not detect some customized methods of dual booting and applied the SBAT value when it should not have been applied. So the long or the short of that is that basically Microsoft sent the security update um, to the wrong systems. So that's the long and the short of all of that. Now, the good thing is, obviously, now they have confirmed this as a known issue. And Microsoft has provided a workaround. And if we just head back to that post, they say the workaround is this. If you, have, if you haven't finalized the installation of the August 2024 update with a reboot yet, you can use the below opt-out registry key so your device doesn't install this update. You'll be able to delete the registry key if you want to install future SBAT updates later on. Now, obviously, you need a bit of technical know-how. But nonetheless, I'll leave this, um, this known issue post in the descriptions for you to come check this out in more detail. So what you need to do um, is you need to add this registry key into the registry. Okay. And as Microsoft says, you can use the below opt-out registry key so your device doesn't install this update if you haven't rebooted yet. Okay. So... That's an important bit of information. Now, they carry on to say the next steps, we are investigating the issue with our Linux partners and will provide an update when more uh, information is available. And here are the affected platforms, basically Windows 11 and 10 and Windows Server across the board. And when um, this fix or Microsoft gives us any more information becomes available, obviously, I'll keep you guys posted in the, and in the loop and I'll... Um, upload a video ASAP. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.